Let's move now to Stetson University, which last year won the regular season championship. Their fine head coach is Lynn Brea. And Lynn, tell me, what did it mean to win the regular season title a year ago? Yeah, it meant everything to us. I mean, you know, we had never done that before. And I think for us, it was, um, I've always said the hardest thing to do is to win over time. And when you, when you can put back-to-back -back games together and win a regular season, uh, I think that's, that's the hardest thing to do. And I think for our players, our team last year, it was a great accomplishment, um, considering it's the first time we'd ever done that. And it, it had been a goal of ours for quite a few years. And it was really nice to, 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 have, to, to get to do that. So I was really proud of our team last year. Your nucleus starts with Sarah Seiger. She was the Defensive Player of the Year a season ago. What does she mean to your mm -hmm. program? She means a lot. I mean, she's uh, you know she's played since her freshman year. She's played a lot of a lot of minutes. I mean, so for us, offensively and defensively, she is. Uh, there's no doubt she's the best defender in our league. She alters a lot of shots. If she doesn't block your shot, she probably alters it in some way. So, and then offensively, I think she's gotten a lot better with her back to the basket. She's really worked hard on developing her perimeter game this year. So she means, her versatility means a lot to our team and she has a great impact on our team. I know she's missed some time in the preseason. How has that impacted mm -hmm. how you get ready for the start of the regular campaign? Well, I mean, it, it's made the other players better. You know, I feel like that it's it's helped some of our other kids uh, get stronger. They've gotten more reps, but certainly we miss her. Um, I do think we'll get her back at some point. Um, but I, I think in the long run, it's helped our team become uh, better with some of the some of our other kids getting those reps. You mentioned the youth. You've got seven newcomers. Which players do you think mm -hmm. are going to have the greatest impact early on in the season? Well, I think right off the top of my head, I think Megan Vincent, our 6'3 post kid from Texas, you know, considering we haven't had Sarah for, for you know, a little bit, I think she's been consistent. I mean, for a freshman, you know, most freshmen are kind of up and down. They kind of have a good day, bad day. She is she has yet to have a bad day. Uh, I think she's been, you know, she's one to look for as far as our freshmen. You've got such a young team and you have such a tough schedule mm -hmm. early on. How challenging mm -hmm. is that going to be? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure who did that. Uh, I'm not sure that was the wisest thing to do, but uh, uh, it, it's going to be challenging. And I think we're going to see where we are. I think we're going to have to grow up really fast. I think it's going to prepare us for our conference. We're going to see a lot of different styles, a lot of different teams play different ways. Zone man, they're, they're big, and some of them are, are more guard-oriented. They're smaller. So I think you know that kind of represents our league, and that was the idea behind the schedule. So um, I've tried to schedule tougher every year. I'll continue to do that because I think that that really helps us prepare you know for our conference. And I think you know at the end of the day, you want to be. It's all about the finish. It's all about how you finish. And I think that that's going to help us. We'll see how Stetson finishes, and they will get started on November the 10th when they take on Thomas University.